All right. Too late. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, I can hear you. I'll try to get you okay. in my AirPods, but it won't work again. What's up, dude? How you doing? I'm gonna I'm gonna try a different little view. Hold on. I don't know. No, you look you look pretty rough. Let's go back out. Dang, dude. <laughs> You're good looking. I'm just fucking with you. I just gotta, I gotta give you, man. Come on, man. It looks good. It looks good. I gotta give you some shit. I was just tell, I just had Dellen on and we were talking about um when you thought I was calling you a flopper last year. Remember when you called me out on that? <laughs> dude. We that was we pretty, told that, was, that story. That was, that was a pretty blonde moment for me, man. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that was good. That was funny. Um, you, were, you were like, you were like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I had no idea. And as, 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 as soon as you said that, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm a dude. What have I done? <laughs> it kind of <laughs> felt like you doubled down for a minute, though. You went with it, but yeah. it was good. It was fun. It was. Oh man, I still I still get some crap for it today. Where are you? South Carolina, Greenville, South Carolina. That's where you're from, too, right? Yeah. You ever been out here? Oh. No, I actually haven't been to Greenville. Um, I need to get out there. I think Jen, one of the people on our affiliate team, I think she lives out there. Okay. Do you, uh, where'd you play football? You played football, right? Yeah, I played at Clemson. Oh, shit. Jeez, what position? Wide receiver. Okay. I know, I knew you played college football. I just I guess I forgot that you played at Clemson. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was a good time. You, uh, you definitely, like, when I look at you compared to a lot of the other athletes, um, I see athlete. Do you know what I mean by that? Like, like you have athlete in you, not only just size, but like, um, even your fire, I get what what you mean. Even your fire, your size, you, you bring something else to the floor that I think, um, some of the athletes sometimes don't carry with them as, as, um, as well as you do. And that's what I like about you, the, the fighting mentality and this and the, the dog fight that you bring to it. Right. No, nah, so um, not for sure. Someone just walked in the room I was in. So, oh, no um, problem. Got to figure out what to go. I'm in. A, I'm at. I'm at the gym right now. Good. That's where you need to be, right? You only got a few more weeks. <laughs> I'm here talk, talking to you between uh, intervals. Um, thank you. Thank you for doing that. Um, no, I get. I definitely. I definitely get what you mean. Um, you should. See. Lost you there. Lost you for a couple seconds. Audio is missing, Jason. Look how athletic he's moving. He's smooth. All right, can you hear me now? Now I can hear you. Yeah. All right. Um, what what part did I break out? Those five, by the way, those two minutes didn't count as our as our ten minutes. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I, I definitely hear you, and then I didn't hear anything else. Um, no, I definitely get what you mean. Uh, I, I could definitely see it too. There are some people who just. It's kind of things will just come super unnatural, but there are some things in the space that, you know, you would think that I would pick up pretty naturally that are pretty hard for me to pick up. Like, for instance, there are a lot of gymnastic stuff that are really tough for me to learn, but you would just assume that it would be easy for me to learn just based on some things that you've probably seen from me, you know, athletic, athletic wise, you know, you've seen me like the things you just mentioned, you would be like, oh, you would probably assume that doing things would come natural for him and sometimes that's not the case so but but yeah, you man. do uh you you you're pretty good at the gymnastic stuff still i mean it, it sounds like you have to put a lot of work into it to be good at it but like it's you not like that's a weakness for you right you, you didn't watch last year did you what last year i couldn't i couldn't do a pullover oh oh yeah 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 now i am remember okay okay you know that's not an issue anymore is it <sighs> Not as much. <laughs> <laughs> I like the honesty. I'm, I'm, um, definitely not, I'm definitely not doing 30 in a row. So, um, but yeah, um, well, I appreciate you. Appreciate you telling me that. Yeah, no. Test, and, and, I said, and I, here's, I, said, I said you should test more, um, you know, athletic stuff at the game. So I get rewarded for a, l- a little bit more. What, remember, did you ever see back in the day we had a softball toss? Um, yeah, that would have been 100 points for me. Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. How do you think um, that event would go for you? And that's well, I, used, nice... I, I used to play baseball. Me and me and Dallin, um, oh, I think, are okay. probably the only two that played baseball. He used to, he used to be a catcher, so it would probably be me and him throwing our arms out, getting Tommy John. <laughs> I think Spencer Handel uh, might have won that event. Rich Froning also did really well because Rich played Rich played some baseball too back yeah. in the day. 
But you know what else I like about you as a competitor? And I saw this this year in semifinals and I saw it last year. And I've always talked about this in terms of you need this as an athlete and even in CrossFit. But uh, And some guys do it and a lot do not. But just this notion of when you're on that fucking floor in your lane, looking left and looking right and seeing where everybody else is, that matters so much. And yeah. it matters for you as a competitor but honestly, I think it matters to like get in other people's heads and just be like, this fucking dude's a shark. He's coming right. out to he's coming out to win. Right. Um, no, I've, I've I've always been that way. Um, I'm I'm not necessarily like the 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 trainer. I'm like the racer. You know, I like to yeah. race, and that's that's the reason I got in the sport was I've grown up, you know, being competitive, and you know, I hate. I hate the training aspect of this sport. Like I hate <laughs> showing up every day and, you know, I, I don't do it because it's fun. I do it because of the reward um, yeah. of being able to race on the floor when it matters. That, that's, that makes it all much more wild. And so, um, no, nah, when it, when it comes to racing, you know, I don't like staying in my own lane. I like, you know, looking at where everybody's at because at the end of the day, like if I, when I look at where everybody's at, I can either, you know, I can either press further on the gas if I need to, or dial it back. And so just, you know, using everybody else's, you know, where, where they're at on the floor helps me gauge where I need to be doing as well. Yeah. Actually playing, the, actually playing the existing race rather than playing this mentality of I'm going to give it all I have. If right. you go out there and just think I'm going to give it all I have and tune that shit out, you might right. not be able to go to 105% when it's needed, or you might not be able to dig deeper and try to, Right. Uh, someone on your left and right but yeah i love that strategy in you every uh, and every, every time um i'll oh, go ahead finish your sentence no 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 you go every time um the way well, the open comes around i'm the worst at the open just because when i'm a bigger athlete to yep. program 75 pound barbells <laughs> and so it hurts me um uh -huh. but the other aspect is i don't have anybody to really race against and so like i'm going against the clock and yeah. i get i get done with workouts and i'm like Dude, that's got to be like world record time or something. And then it's like I get I'm getting beat by like three minutes by people. <laughs> and it's just like stuff like that. Like I don't really know where everybody else is on the floor. So I'm, I'm only going as fast as I like. I think I'm I think I'm going fast enough. But, you know, when it, I really don't have that awareness until, you know, you're everybody's on the floor with us. So and, and Rich and Matt definitely had that. Tia does, too. Those three, Rich, Matt, they're all they were always looking. Uh, Tia does, too. Hey, didn't Mark Juan Jones play at Clemson? Yeah, he did. He did. He did. Did you guys overlap or different times? No, he was he was a few years before me. Okay, got yeah. it. Where, Where do you, you think right of, I'm at? I'm in my backyard. I'm at home. Uh, what do you think of uh, cycling in the games, generally speaking? You like it? Fan? Not a fan? Uh, well, it depends. Are we on a mountain bike or a road bike? Oh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not saying that. Uh, what, OK, let's say you're on. Let's say what we've seen. Let's say what you've seen at the games. Um, the first year you went, did we have cycling at the games? No, we swam. So you haven't paddle board. OK, so you haven't done any of the bike events yet that we've done. No, I have. Which one? Which year? The last two years. OK. Yeah. And what do you um, think of them, generally speaking? I'm not very familiar with myself on a mountain bike, so the last two probably got me. I'm really familiar with myself on really skilled on a road bike just because it's like less technical, less skilled. I didn't grow up on a, on a bike, on a bike. I grew up on a football field. And so, um, yeah. I am very, there are some things like going around corners super fast. I'm like, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I don't know what brake to press. So like I'll be yeah. slipping and stuff. And so I'm not, I found like the last two years I've way behind when it comes to like the skill of biking, but yeah. like, the fitness of biking, I would say like, I'm, you know, if we did a 20 minute watt test against the games, like I'm pretty confident no one's going to beat me, but as soon yeah. as we have to go around, you know, you know, we're doing cycling on a, a silo cross, then things probably change for me a little bit. Um, yeah. And so I'm not a huge fan of it. So you should do a road bike, just 20, like 20 miles, <laughs> just straight, dude, see who wins. Um. I'll be on. It doesn't. It doesn't matter now because I guess uh, we're not going back to Madison anytime soon. Maybe in the future. But we're definitely. I was definitely playing and planning and playing around with doing a road bike, like just all out, similar to what you're describing. Because we we did a lot with uh, on campus. We did, um, you know, we did the cyclocross as you said, but like doing like uh, all out in the 
country out on some of those roads and just like, why wouldn't go. you do it, dude? What's stopping you? Well, what's stopping it? Well, what helped us in Madison pull it off is Trek was stationed there or based out of there. And so yeah. it was, it was easy to pull, it was easier to get the support there. Right. But I Texas, even mean, though, Texas, and just Texas, let's back out. Roads? <laughs> yeah, they do. Let's back out. And just this, the, the question being more about like, included in the test of fitness less about your ability but just included in the test of fitness those style of events where you know there's some points like you know a valner's pedal clipped or people fall and like right. shit happens that's kind of from bumping is racing right. type of thing that doesn't happen in other events no for sure and i think that's just sports in general man if you look at yeah. any sports there's gonna be accidents it's, it's what happens when people go fast it's what happens when people push the needle um, yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it's going to happen. Um, I mean, look at the tour de France right now. I mean, if you yeah. watch the last two episodes or last two seasons of the thing on Netflix is like, dude, they're all crashing, man. They're like two <laughs> inches away from each other going like freaking 30 miles an hour. And so it's just like, dude, that's, that's sport. And whenever you're pushing the needle as, as far as you can, I mean, it gets pretty dangerous. Someone, someone recently died, fell off a cliff doing cycling, died. Um, and it's just like as sad as that is, like people still, you know, are continuing to do it because they love that adrenaline rush and they love the, that racing aspect and the, that danger just comes with the game. Yeah. So, so the, yeah, whole, the whole, like, the whole, like the whole, like safety thing in, in sport is like, I mean, there, there is a skill of staying healthy in CrossFit yes. and whether like someone just got hurt coming down a rope, like, there's a skill of protecting yourself coming down a rope, you know, self-preservation. And that yeah. is so important longevity and understanding where to press and go faster and where not to, right. it, you're going to save an extra half a second by going down the rope faster and like potentially really fuck yourself up. Like, yeah, right. knowing where to make the straight offs. Um, before we go, do you have any questions for me? Any thoughts or anything you want to, um, what are you most excited about for this games? the the uh the new venue for sure and just seeing your guys reaction when you come out on the floor for the first time and see the layout see the fan see the jumbotron and just taking it to the next chapter i mean so this is like 19th year of the game or not 19 18th year of the games and um we've had aromas as a home we've had um carson madison and now so this is a new new storyline, new evolution to the, um, the history book of the CrossFit games. And so that to me is exciting. Right. I'm really pumped. What, up. um, what, um, you say you have like a theme and a workout, you kind of build everything around. Is that yeah. always, is that like the, the first event, the last event, where is that place that it Any depends event? every year. It depends every year. And it's like, uh, it's a theme. There is a theme. It's usually I refer to it as like an anchor workout. There's like one thing that kind of everything else is built around. Um, this year, there might have been a couple items, a couple things that really influence the rest of it. And then once you have those in place, right. kind of you start building around them for sure. But what's, um, the, what's the time cap on the first workout? <laughs> You'll see soon. I saw I sound down. We're supposed to actually today. Let me see if it's out yet. It's supposed to announce the uh the cut schedule soon. So uh oh we don't oh, that's a, that, that, that's a sore subject, isn't it? <laughs> 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 oh I'm sorry. I don't, have to um, about, I don't have to worry about that this year. Yeah, good attitude, good answer. Um all right, man. Well that was fun. Thanks for catching up. Appreciate you making I appreciate the time. you having me. Uh, who's next? I don't know. I got to figure that out. I just randomly, you know, that's funny. I emailed you guys all the, I got all fancy because Cooper's like, use a calendar. And then I sent the link to all of you guys and everybody responded, Hey, the link doesn't work. So yeah, I got to figure out my system and, uh, and I'll, I'll get it going, but I got I have to figure out the system quick. Cause I have like 80 of you to get through and you're, I think the seventh or eighth. So I got a lot to do. I got a lot. You, re to go. you really think you're going to get through 80 people? I fucking know I'll get through 80 people. <laughs> I, I, I'm saying the only way I don't get all 80 is if someone just refuses to do it, which if someone refuses to do it, that's fine. But I will for sure get through all 80 before the game. So I'm going to have a busy weekend this weekend. <laughs> all right. All right well, I Thanks a lot, you. Jason. Have a good all one. Right. Glad. Bye.